Hello and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. Yeah, not much movement today. It went down a little bit, went up a little bit. Overall, we're still in the same price range. Just having a quick look here at the daily chart before we dive into the microstructures. Really not much change. I mean, we're far away from the relevant support area on the daily chart. And it is located still between 53,000 to 113. I mean, that's the key level as long as we're holding above it. I'm rather looking for higher, below, lower, bearish momentum, right? Someone asked me to explain the short-term bearish scenario. Well, it's just a way, it's just a larger way forward. It's quite simple. So in the um, in the white count, okay, or well, let's call it the primary count at the moment because we're holding above support, yeah? Um, it shows a way four here on the 5th of August. Well, that is indicating that this way four finished because we have, even though it's an ugly, but we have a five wave move up from that low. And that five wave move up finished at the top here of the well, the, the price range, right? The, 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 the March, the, the range in which we've been moving since March. Now, it's quite simple. So the short term bearish count suggests the wave four could easily still be unfolding, but it requires a break below 53,113 to, to really confirm that. And because above that, you know, we, we have a support area above, which ideally shouldn't be broken if we've bottomed on the 5th of August. So below that level, I have to assume the way four is still unfolding, then with support between 43k and 49k. It's it's quite simple. So it's it's me. It means either the price m does this and then that, or this. Okay. In in the the two scenarios here on the chart, I mean the price can do anything, right? And probabilities are dynamic. You know, it's not necessarily so predictable as many people want it to be, right? Get comfortable with the unknown, right? Get comfortable with the unknown in the charts. Um, that's what every day brings something new in the markets. But what we can do is we can identify with the analysis the key risk levels for a certain scenario. So we know that if it's this pattern, that support should hold, right? And we have key support levels and actionable levels we can use for trading. Um, below the first key support, there is another one, right? And then we have to take you know remove one scenario if support breaks we have to remove one scenario now that will create the space for another scenario that can materialize uh, anything's possible <laughs> as everywhere in the world right and sometimes people are surprised that i say that everything is possible of course you know Ye yesterday someone said like in the doge video i mean um well you said it could go up or it could go down well yeah right but there's the levels do matter and I typically give you my preferred outcome, right? But of course, you know, if anybody knows how reality works, like anything is possible, of course, but we can typically use the analysis to reduce the uncertainty, right? To reduce that unknown. And um, then we get actionable levels, we get some patterns to watch, and that's all you need. You need the actionable levels against which you can, you can measure your risk. And um, the great new, or the great thing about Elliott Wave is, it gives us these key levels in validation points and the next targets as well. It gives us a roadmap. But most importantly, it gives us the parameters that need to hold to keep a certain roadmap intact. So we know straight away when the market is deviating from that ideal roadmap. So again, you know, I'm watching if the wave two pullback has started already here. Okay, so we say we have five waves up that could be blue wave one. Um, if we go lower and lower and lower and hit that support area, that's likely the wave two. At the same time, we have some support levels on the on the shorter time frames that we're watching, which if as long as they hold, you know, we can still move higher more directly before we start that deeper pullback. But overall, the main level to watch on the daily chart is 53k pretty much, yeah? Shorter time frame, really nothing to add to the previous update. I think with that dip that we have seen, I um the, the at least the larger blue B wave that we talked about becomes more probable. Okay, what is that? Remember the blue count I just showed you on the daily, that wave one in five waves? Well, you know, as long as we're holding, as long as we're holding 61K here, this support zone, this is for the blue B wave. We could say that this fifth wave of the wave one is still unfolding and we have an A wave up, we have a B wave down and a C wave up. But as long as we're holding here the the upper support area, we could even still be in the white count, which allows for more direct upside. So the next support, and we're holding that support area at the moment, right, is, is 64,780. 
Below that level, we are dealing with 61,065 to 62,812. It's this micro support area. And uh, overall, yeah, I still give the bulls overall the benefit of the doubt. But I can tell you that so far, there is not yet... I mean, this is pretty messy, okay? So I don't really have any high confidence setup. If anybody's, you know, if you're familiar with Elliott Wave, to a degree, then you should know that B wave pullbacks, they don't really give us really good probabilities because B waves are really the most difficult waves to forecast. So whenever you see a B wave, just be a bit careful. I mean, support levels are clear. Um, the most stable one is surely the one that I showed you on the daily chart. Overall, we haven't broken support. We're still holding support, but at the same time, there is no significant indication yet that we are starting the next move up. Um, however, any break below the intraday high, it was here at around 67,830, uh, could indicate that the next move up has started. That's the update about Bitcoin. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also, make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.